to my new show, Unbreakable Truths. I'm your host, and I am excited to introduce my first guest. You've seen him on CNN, Fox, and the Today Show, as well as Love and Hip Hop and The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And he also has a real job. <laughs> He's a professor of behavioral medicine at the Turo College of Medicine in New York City. And now Dr. Jeff Gadir is sitting right here with me to talk about relationships. What's good, what's bad, when to walk, and when do you run, Dr. Jeff? When do you run away from it? <laughs> you run when that relationship is one that has you feeling oppressed, yes. or you're scared, yes. or you no longer have any joy. It's so good to have you here. Katrina, thank you so much, and I'm honored to be a guest on your show. Thank you. Dr. Jeff, now, we're gonna sit here and we're gonna talk about relationships now. When do you run away? I just want to know, when is enough enough? Well, I think when you're in a situation in a relationship mm -hmm. and you don't feel fulfilled, mm -hmm. you feel like perhaps the other person is getting all of the benefits of the relationship. Mm -hmm. But let me just break it down, Katrina. Yes. When you're not happy right. and, you, and you have tried to fix the relationship mm -hmm. and you just can't seem to get it right, the mm -hmm. other person does not want to be part of it, they don't want to contribute to it, then I think that's the time to walk away. Well, look, if you got children involved, you know, and um, you love this man so much, but you know he really don't love you. You know, just the disrespect that you mm -hmm. get, you know, and for the children's sake, do you stay with that individual because you have children? That's a great question, and I will tell you this. Um, I really believe in relationships. Mm -hmm. I believe in marriages, mm -hmm. uh, even though I had a failed marriage back in my day, but in a good one right now. Uh, but I think the bottom line is, of course, we want to keep our kids happy. We want our marriages to work. But if we're in a situation of where we're not happy, where there's something abusive that's going on in the relationship. Mm -hmm. What's the point of staying for the children? Because not only are you damaged as a partner in that relationship, if you're the victim right. of some sort exactly. of domestic violence or a really bad marriage, but the kids see that too. Yes. So as much as you want to stay together, as much as you want to stay in love, if it's unhealthy, mm -hmm. it's unhealthy for you, and then the collateral damage are the kids. So, you know, I believe Tina Turner had it right when she said, what's love got to do with yes, it? Because yes. it's all about <laughs> mental wellness at the end of right, the day. Right, right. One girlfriend of mine told me that, you know, God didn't believe, she put religion in it, that God didn't mm -hmm. believe in divorce, you know? And then you hear people telling you, other people in your ear saying, you need to stay with him, somebody gonna get your good man. You know, and this man isn't coming home at night, he's not providing for the children, he's even, you know, beating you. So should, in your mind, your mental capacity, should you believe that, maybe this can be fixed. I, I really do believe, Katrina, that our friends really want the best for us, mm -hmm. but unless they've walked a mile in our shoes, yes. right? Or right. even a That's few true. That's so true. yards in our, in our shoes, mm -hmm. they really don't know what we're going through. Mm -hmm. And we tend to want to see the best in everyone else, so they may see the best even in an abusive partner. Yes. Because what they're doing inside the relationship mm -hmm. is totally different than what's going on outside the relationship. You know, they dress in fine clothes. Yes, right, absolutely. They speak so nicely. Right. You know, they put on this persona of being mm -hmm. so majestic. Mm -hmm. But then within the relationship, behind the closed doors, yes. that's where we see that abusive personality right. come out. Yes. And so at the end of the day, you have to follow your own heart. Absolutely. It's great that your friends are advising absolutely. you, but that's the purpose, Katrina, of yes. therapy. Yes. Because a therapist doesn't tell you what you want to hear, mm -hmm. a therapist will tell you what you need to hear. Mm -hmm. And if it's unhealthy and if it can't be fixed, then make like mercury and yes, run yes. and make like Absolutely. a tree and leave. And not worry about what everybody feel or think because you're the one that's actually in Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I totally agree. And I like the part, Dr. Jeff, about the happiness. You know, mm -hmm. happiness is mm -hmm. everything. And yes. what's your take on happiness? 
I think we all deserve to be happy. <laughs> you know, you, you yeah. talked about, Katrina, that, you know, some people inject religion, they mm -hmm. inject God into it. Yes. And all glory be to God. Right, right. But God helps those who help themselves. That's right. And even though I believe that God wants us to have a union, mm -hmm. he wants us to have a more perfect union. Absolutely. And so I'm sure that the Creator doesn't want us to get divorced on a whim because it seems that marriages are so disposable yes. in this era yes. in which we live, right? Right. But I think at the end of the day, um, it, it is a situation that if that marriage is unhealthy mm -hmm. and as much as you try, then you have to look at some sort of a separation and divorce. But that divorce mm -hmm. should be a healthy divorce, yes. not an acrimonious divorce, yes. not uh, an evil divorce where people hate one another. Right, and exactly. then again, the collateral damage are our children. Yes. And if you're in a situation where this man is actually beating you, Mm. You know, should you tell somebody, you know, should you just keep it bottled up inside of you, you know? Well, what? look, you know this from your own story. I do, I do uh, so And what much. you've gone through, and I think it's important that yes. we share with yes. everyone, don't keep it inside, no. don't hide. But we also have to understand, we don't want to victimize the victim, right? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, in this case, women, mm -hmm. who are abused, a part of domestic violence, yes. or beaten and battered and so right. on, they're isolated yes. by yes. that abusive partner. Mm -hmm. um, they may be financially dependent on that That's partner. Yes. Um, they may be in a situation of where they're told, if you say anything to anyone, not only will I beat you, but I'll yes, beat the children. Absolutely, so there's a lot of fear and intimidation involved. So, so I understand true. when people don't speak out, but at some point yes. they've got to find their courage. Absolutely, because sometimes you can get that bad advice, even from your mother. You That's know, right. it's yes. kind of sad, but it's true, you well, know, because it happened to me, yes. you know, yes. just I, go back to sleep, Trina, he'll be in there, you know, so, you know, that's not the best advice, but at the time, Doctor, I'm thinking that she thought it was the best advice because that's what they did back then. That's you know? right. Mm -hmm. And and look, we have to look at the psychological condition of mm -hmm. people. Yes. And Sigmund Freud talked about this whole idea of ego strength. Do yes. you have what it takes to be able to find who you really are and walk your own path? Yes. And too often, we do let friends, we do let parents kind of decide for us what we should do. Uh, and, and I would say even with your mother, because I do know she the story. Well. Yeah, she, she meant, meant well. well, and parents mean well. But humans tend to have this idea that they want to see a happy ending, mm -hmm. you know, especially yes. when it comes to relationships. We call those in psychoanalytic literature, we call those pairing fantasies. Yes. Oh, this this person and that person would be so nice together. Or that's nice just together. what a person does, you exactly. know. That's just what a man does, or that's just, you know, you just lay back well, down and go to sleep. He can stay out all night, but right. he'll be home. Well, you that's know, so. a, now that's the stereotypical views we tend to have, yes. where we give men you know, for example, a man who sleeps with many women yes. is considered to be a dashing man. Yes. Whereas if a woman sleeps with many partners, then they consider her to and be some what sort I was of told. a, a whore or yes, whatever. Yes. And so we've got to begin changing mm -hmm. those perceptions mm -hmm. about what the male role is, the female role is, and really look at what is the healthy role yes. in relationships. Absolutely. And what you. respect and equality, yes, as we say in French, uh, egalitarianism is yes. all about. Yes. When do you know, doctor, that, again, it's time to just walk away? Well, le 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 let me say this. Um, we've got to break that generational cycle. Yes, sir. Right? Mm -hmm. Because we you do. know this, we what do. happens. Mm -hmm. You are unbreakable, <laughs> and you are able to still right. persevere despite mm -hmm. all of the abuse, emotional Survive. abuse, yes. verbal abuse, mental. perhaps physical abuse, mm -hmm. mental abuse. And when we don't break out of that, yeah. then our children see it. And mm -hmm. what do our children it's do? It's the cycle. It's the cycle. Mm -hmm. So they are more at risk to being in an abusive situation Absolutely. because they saw mama stayed in it, mm -hmm. daddy was perpetrating it. So we're more like mm -hmm. mama or we may be more like daddy. Yes. And be it ever terrible, there's no place like home. So, hmm, an abusive relationship, an abusive man. Mm -hmm. Hey, sexy, that's yes. the way they right. see it. So. Right. That's why we have to break out of that cycle. But going to your question as to how do we see the signs that someone may be abusive yes. or you're in an abusive situation, mm -hmm. I believe the question yes. was. And 
if you're isolated, if you're unhappy, if you're scared, if you feel that you can't talk to that person who's abusing you, if you feel that you're in a situation of where you're literally dying inside mm -hmm. emotionally yes. because there is no happiness, right. if you feel that you have no freedom, mm -hmm. and of course, if you have the physical and emotional scars yes. of constantly being beat down, then my sister, yes. you are in an abusive relationship right and it's not just emotional mm -hmm. it's not just physical mm -hmm. but it can also be financial yes we see that a lot of times they control the yes. abuser controls how yes, much money you absolutely. get they put you on an allowance mm -hmm. they don't give you enough to be able to do the things that you and, want and to do or have right. individualism it's, it's so mm -hmm. and they control the friends mm -hmm. that you're with yes you right. can have this friend or that friend mm -hmm. you better not go to this place or that place making your words what, small what are you doing yes, wearing yes. this beautiful yellow and black yes. dress well let me tell you yes. something this is what you need to be wearing why do you have that makeup on mm -hmm. all of those things and some of them can be very subtle that's part of an abusive relationship. Yes, I had a friend that she wasn't even able to drive. Her husband didn't even want her to learn mm -hmm. how to drive. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's control too as well. Absolutely. So the signs are Limit, always li there. Li limiting their mobility. Absolutely, where you're totally dependent that's on right. that person. That's right. Yes. I hope people do really understand mm -hmm. those signs of an abusive relationship. And I would say one of the yes. first things they need to do is to reach out to someone else. Um, if they have to um, mm -hmm. get an order of protection. Yes. Um, if they have to, you know, get a therapist. Or just leave. But talk about it. Right. But don't mm -hmm. just stay in yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Do something, something about it. That's the most important thing because we all deserve to be happy we all deserve to be free absolutely i totally agree let's hope we can make people unbreakable unbreakable you yes. just don't stay in a bad bad place absolutely thank you doctor thank you for having me katrina